All glories to Amrita and Danvantari, the Supreme Divine Healers. So, by popular request, and now that finally, by God's grace, the algorithms have been purged of their demonic bias, and my accounts are no longer shadow banned, and no one sees my posts. I finally make this long-awaited video, and I'm super excited, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this was the fantastic intro. Um, so, um, it's um, a vegetarian, ketogenic meal, high-fat, low-carb, and um, it basically has all the required nutrients in it and um, no need for any, um, you know, fancy changes, uh, meaning it's not required to to have a changing meal every day so yeah we are we're recording that's good and um yeah what's my point it it started out more or less it's more or less like a one meal per day idea but there is like a secondary course that depending on how hungry i am sometimes i skip it or um i take it in the afternoon so main meal, um, you know, ideally I would take it maybe around 10 o'clock in the morning, sometimes due to circumstances a little bit earlier. Let's go to the overview first before we go into any details. In my case, it's optimized for around 2,200 calories. That's more or less what I need in the day. 74.5 um, gram proteins, um, net carbs, 40 points. 46.5 and fat is almost 200 gram here you see um, this is just like uh, suggested or like a custom values they don't matter so much but what's interesting is this ratio it's 75 percent fat 13 carbs and 12 protein that is uh, for me a very optimal ratio anyhow the body produces some carbohydrates itself but it's always good to give the body some building blocks and a little bit of an insulin reaction. So for different reasons, um, for the muscles mainly, yeah. I don't want to go into too many technical details, so let's just go through, I mean like, we could go through all the scores here, um, just so that you know. Um, iodine is um, the recommended dosage is much lower than it could be so 500 percent is not really a problem iron yeah that's a matter of discussion if that's a problem if it's too much but yeah and vitamin b12 it's seven saying seven thousand um, percent i'm pretty sure that the um, calculations are correct um, uh, i went into a study about um, spirulina and um, there is actually one third of the vitamin b it's very high in vitamin b B12, but there is one particular, uh, well, no, there are analogs and of, of all the vitamin B12 that is in there, around one third is um, bioactively available. So, and with this calculation, um, we come to this 7,000%. Let's see, um, la, 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 I wanted to see where it's coming from. Yeah, it's actually high in the dose. It's more from the dose than from the spirulina. Yeah, you see, that's crazy how much you see is in the dose. I I didn't put it in there, so yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so it's uh, like, you see, these are non-specified targets, and, and um, I didn't split, for example, the vitamin A into its components and um, vitamin E course I didn't have the time to do it but you see all the major um, things are ticked um, as despite of molybdenum um, and I think it's pretty difficult to find and I'm not sure how important it is really potassium is a little bit low supposedly let's see where I get potassium from the hemp seeds the tomato tahini mm. I could I could optimize that maybe and um, yeah everything else you see is way above the 100 percent 
So show me a meal, a vegetarian, one meal a day that can come up with such statistics. B3, B5, a little bit low, might improve that. Uh, highest is the hemp, tahini, chlorella, spirulina. Yeah, well, maybe I'll find something for the B3 and the B5, the eggs. Hemp seeds, feta, okay. Now, let's get into the meal itself to make this video not too long. First of all, start the day with some good mineral water, do some exercise, then the first course is, um, we do that in the evening before, we take the olive oil, add oregano, one tablespoon, and separately we soak the dosa flakes with sauerkraut and some water from the sauerkraut. And then we cook the eggs on a very low temperature, like barely boiling, you know, I do them like simmering them for four minutes and then let them sit in the hot water for four minutes. So as not to destroy the amino acids. And then, yeah, we mix all these components together and we have a great starting course, which is good because on the keto, you want some monounsaturated fats for the energy as a first thing and also the, the best type of protein, which is coming from the eggs. If you don't know the glories of eggs, I recommend you watch Dr. Um, Stan Eckberg on the topic of eggs. Then we have a main meal, which we also soak in the evening before, peeled tomatoes or passata. Um, I just took the peeled tomatoes because they have a lot of data. Um, you know, of the contents. So then lemon juice um, and distilled water. And the psyllium husk is optional. I did that for a long time, but it really increases the, the bulk or the amount. Uh, and uh, I don't really need that at the moment, so I don't use it. Then um, sumac actually is not in here anymore. It's in the, in the tea now. I will move it down. Let's see if it's there too. Sumac is a great um, and much underrated. Um, let's see. It's kind of the fruit of a tree and it's uh, sourish. Mm, let's see if there's anywhere else has a sourish taste with a slightly salty tinge in it. Okay, it's there only one time, great. So we'll keep it here. And it's very antioxidant and very healthy in many ways. So, and it's also hydrating. So that's why it goes into my tea. Mm, then we have Malaya pink salt and um, black salt also. Why is it not here at the same place? Yeah, pink salt and black salt, which is very good for the sulfur, which is not even a category here. But anyway, then we have the spices, black pepper, curcuma, um, ginger powder should be, should be here too. I'm not sure why I didn't put it here. Um, nigella seeds or black seeds, very healthy. Um, then tahini, sesame tahini is uh, 50 grams, olive oil 20 grams, that should be as well. And uh, coconut oil 20 grams, 25 gram shredded coconut. Then spirulina 4 grams, barley grass 3 grams, moringa 2 grams, hemp seeds 50 grams, and then we add the uh, goat feta. So, um, yeah, and that will be soaked overnight and then, you know, of course, mixed well. Let me see ginger ground. Let me put this up here just for the sake of it. Okay, that's good. Come on. Yeah. So that's the main meal. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll have, I used to have 
85% chocolate here, but I don't anymore. Now I have just 10 gram walnuts, 6 gram pistachio, 2 Brazil nuts, and um, that's around, I think, 4, four soaked um, cacao beans. And I soak all these overnight in um, bicarbonate water to take out all the phytates and a little bit of you know, oxalic acids that are there. But these four nuts are the, the best and health, most healthy nuts for different reasons, um, especially because they don't have any phytates and, and oxalic acids like very low, you know, so that's that. And then sometimes um, I have this um, vegan omega-3 algae oil capsules or oil itself, but at the moment I don't. Then after the meal, I uh, usually have rosemary or more oregano and um, whole cloves. I have four cloves here, but sometimes I take two and then in the afternoon again, I take two. So I just put here four for the day. Then we have the day drink. And before each drink, I'm having a little bit of salt because it helps the hydration. Um, hydration. Just suck a little bit of salt. So it's first in the system and then the water will be sucked into the body. Um, distilled water I use for boil, for putting on the tea and then later on I, when the tea is ready, I add the um, actual water to dilute it. Um, but it, the distilled water will take out more of the um, taste and also the minerals out of the plants. That's why I use, and also it's better for the, for the water kettle. So hibiscus tea, um, sumac, stevia leaf, the shiladit, you know, it's not directly in the tea, it will be um, taken, you know, as a, as a capsule. Um, stevia leaf, amla is also not directly in the tea, it's going to be taken separately. Um, rosehip powder is also separately, I have a mix with rosehip, amla and others. They are very good um, uh, sources of vitamin C. So these are all in the powder mix. Um, cinnamon powder is also in that powder mix. Uh, garlic, yeah, I take two capsules actually in a day. It's usually then rosehip, amla, aloe vera, cinnamon, and where is it? Ginkgo I'm not taking at the moment. At the moment I'm taking only Brahmi. D2 and K2, D, vitamin D and K2 I take only in the winter. Ginkgo coacutin, yeah. Um, I take that um, also after the meal. So I don't really have the, um, the actual teas here. I could add them. Uh, I take different herbal teas every day and, and fruit teas. Um, and I, these are like extra things I take together with the tea. So I should update this section. And then we have the, the potential afternoon snack. If I'm really getting too hungry, I'm having some pitted green olives with sauerkraut. Maybe sometimes just a few olives because they're very easy to digest, uh, digest and give uh, monounsaturated mono fat for the energy. And then in the night, Actually, now this chaga is actually in the day tea. It's not in the night anymore. Uh, in the night, I only basically drink water now. So I have to update this drink section. And the brahmi is also in the day now. But in the evening, I don't take the magnesium citrate anymore. Um, but the chlorella, if possible, and the brahmi, actually, I take it. Yeah, anyway, so I have the ginkgo I was taking in the day in the brahmi in the night, but yeah. So I guess that's more or less it. Um, I could say so much about uh, the good qualities, why the keto um, approach is so good and why exactly I choose all these ingredients. I, but uh, I would say this is just like an introductory video, introductionary video. I don't want to make it too long. So if you have any questions, you're most welcome. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that. And see you in the next one. Jai Janitai.